Hey, what's up everyone? Thunderbob here, and uh, tonight I am uh, playing a little more Diablo 2 Resurrected. I am checking out some more controller gameplay. I specifically had a few requests to test out a couple things with controllers. Um, things like uh, more melee builds, and um, we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to play just uh, like a couple minutes, two or three minutes on a couple of different melee characters, and also on a Sorceress using Meteor. I had some people specifically requesting that skill. So we're gonna see how it goes. So this is a uh, Fury Barbarian. And um, it definitely feels a little bit uh, less effective. You know, I forgot to do. That helped. Feels a little bit less effective than the spells themselves, like you know, the caster spells. The biggest thing is, so I hit right now. I hit X to do frenzy, and when I do that, it's kind of like in Diablo 2, you know, where you hold shift and you you're stuck in place. It kind of feels like that. Like even when I kill the enemy, um, I'm still standing in place. Whereas you know, Diablo 2. Usually your right click is your attack, but it's also your move. So after you kill the enemy, you know, you keep moving. So I feel like it's going to take a little bit of uh, getting used to it. It's kind of like running with shift always held down along with your attack button. If I just keep pressing X, I'm just like stuck in place. The actual movement feels quite good, and even at this ridiculous speed, the uh, and the stick movement feels really uh, actually quite good. I've also got Berserk here, and I can try some leap attack. That fire is insane. I should probably take that charm off. It seems like the leap attack has somewhat of a, an auto aim function on it, so it's less effective as like an escape. Like, if I'm pointing it all towards an enemy, that's where the attack is going to go. That's one interesting thing about it. Alright, I'm going to jump onto another character and uh, test out a couple of melee characters, so I'll be right back. Okay, and here I've got a Zeal Paladin that I'm going to test out. Something I noticed that's interesting is, so I've got Fanaticism on my R2, and you can just toggle it, but if I cast like Holy Shield, for example, it turns off that. It's almost like it's emulating, you know, only having the two shortcuts like traditional Diablo 2 has. So I'm thinking the only attack you can really do It's interesting. I gotta play around with that, because none of my other attacks seem to stop it. But R1 in particular turns off the aura. And it works pretty similar to the Frenzy Barb. Zeal, of course, kind of locks you in place as long as there are targets in front of you until your five attacks uh, are completed. It's locked. Let's see if I can demonstrate. Like, I can't move until the attack phase is done, which is how I'd expect it to work. And I got Smite, not as high a level, but just to kind of show it off. Oh. That was weird. 
Okay, uh, charge does not like. Oh, it's because I'm holding forward and charge at the same time. Maybe not, it's just kind of a little buggy. I am thinking charge may not be working quite yet. At least with the controller. Yeah, it's just like kind of sitting in place. I'm gonna go back to Musk Keyboard for just a second. I wanna test that out. I'm frozen. This is like the worst zealer ever with the cannot be frozen, not on them. Okay, so it works with mouse and keyboard. It must just not be implemented yet with with the controller. But this works reasonably well. It actually feels a little smoother with, than the Frenzy Bar, but I feel like the Frenzy Bar relies so much on speed. And I think the mouse and keyboard are better at controlling that speed. But maybe it's just the years and years of playing with a mouse and keyboard. And now uh, trying to do the same thing with the controller. Alright, I'm going to jump on another character here. I will be right back. And here I've got a Javazon I'm going to test it out. Let's try... Except those are, of course, lightning immune. I hate the way with the teleporter. It's a little... like, you can kind of get caught up on things a little easier, I feel like, with the controller. Just as an example. And I have found the one lightning immune. I need lots of enemies to show off lightning fury. It definitely, uh, the controller does not feel as good in a tight corridor. The mouse, I think, is a little more forgiving in that manner. Like, in the wide open areas, it's fine. But these stairs, like, I feel slower with the controller than I ever did with the mouse and keyboard. This one ability, I think, actually could use a little bit of work. I feel like... Some of the other lightning skills, like uh, chain lightning particularly, I really enjoy. I think it looks awesome. This one... Kinda... I don't know, just not as impressive. Okay, these stairs are not working for me. There seems to be a little bit of like an auto-aim when you're using the controller. Maybe some aim assist. Like it's a console FPS or something. Oh my god, these stairs, I don't like them. I've never had that kind of problem. I do like, uh, if you're playing a class that has like a lot of uh, kind of buffs that you have to cast, the controller is nice because you can like have those on R1, R2, and like you don't have to swap between skills, it's, it's like a one click instead of like switch skill, click it kind of thing. So there are a couple of things I actually like about using the controller, but overall I think I'm going to stick with the S and keyboard unless I maybe get this on like the switch and I use the cross save. To, to use the controller, like when I'm traveling or if I'm just kind of like chilling in bed watching TV or something. Okay, I'm gonna go to one more character, I'm gonna do uh, 
Meteor Sorceress as has been requested, so give me a minute and I'll jump over there. Okay, and here's the last character I'm going to show off. This is a Fire Sorceress utilizing, of course, Meteor and Fireball. And I want to show off a couple things. Um, I think the controller actually works well in some ways. Like, I've got my buffs on R1 and R2, and it's really easy to just cycle through them. Teleporting, well, I don't think you're quite as far, because with a mouse and keyboard, I can go to the edge of my viewable area, and on a ultra wide, you get quite a large viewable area. Um, and the way Meteor works is it kind of just casts it out in front of you, unless you have a target on the screen. Like, if I've got an enemy there, it actually goes to that enemy. Like, if I have their nameplate selected. The problem, though, is if the enemy is moving, the enemy is moving towards you, or, like, there, it, it auto-cast it where the nameplate was. But the enemy was moving, so the enemy walked out of range of the meteor. Where normally, if you're playing a meteor sorcerer, so you kind of get a feel for it, and you know you need to lead your target a little bit. Well, I think it's playable. Uh, I think you lose a little bit in translation. It is actually a fun way to play, though. Like, I'm I'm thinking about picking this up for Switch if it does have cross save, like uh, Blizzard has been implying. Um, so, like, I could I could play this in bed, watching TV with with my wife. Uh, you know, if I'm just doing, like, farming runs, I don't need to really focus that much. Because, like, just playing like this, it, 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 I could see, you know, just laying in bed, not really caring that much. It actually being a decent experience. But if you're, like, you know, you're trying content that you're not really well geared for, or, um, like you're doing something you really need to focus on, I think the mouse and keyboard's gonna be better. I also think some builds are probably gonna work better than others when it comes to mouse and keyboard or or controller. But I'm doing I'm doing okay, I would say. Uh, for for like literally spending maybe 30 minutes with a controller in total. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, if you want to see anything else, either like more gameplay with the controller or any specific class build combinations or any areas in Act 1 or Act 2, just let me know. Uh, I've got a ton of videos where I've shown stuff off, but if I've missed something, if you want to see something, just let me know and I will try to accommodate. Thanks again for watching and uh, have a great night everyone.